now. Well, thank you everybody for so, coming huh? today. We have a really nice turnout and that's um, not surprising since we have such a, a special treat for everybody today. Um, we are actually on site. The presenters um, today are at Cornersburg Pizza um, with owner Jeff Markovich. Um, so George Gabriel, SSA supervisor and Guy Young, SSA are on site with Jeff. And we're going to turn it over to you guys and you guys can take it from here. Thanks, Shane, and I'm going to let uh, I'm going to let Guy start it off. Shane said, we're at Boardman Cornerburg. Boardman Cornerburg is located at 234 Cornerburg mm -hmm. Road. You guys are familiar with Boardman. It's across from the Boardman Plaza. And we're here with Jeff Markovich, one of his employees, Rich. And we're going to show you how pizza's made. Rich is down there with his back to us. Yeah, working hard. He's being antisocial. Okay. All right, so Jeff, you're up. We're going to start off showing some pizzas like her. Yes, I'm show. Get it. What? Uh, no. oh, there's some. Uh, 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 homemade every day. Uh, also, we'll go in the back here in a second, and we'll show you the, how the sauce is being made. So we'll go back in the back here for a second. I see a mole. A bone. Yeah. I'm gonna mute everybody. So we can hear better. Hi, uh, you're gonna have to unmute yourself if you could for me. Homemade sauce for the pizza. This is fresh homemade sauce? Can you guys smell it through the phone? Yeah. We can smell it. So how much sauce is in there, Jeff? Uh, we have about 60 gallons. How many pizzas will that make? Do you know? Uh, Any idea? No. A lot of sauce, that smell really good. You know, guys, a long time ago, Jeff used to work at the Michelle workshop, and uh, he was a direct care staff person. Yeah, 15 years. 15 years ago, George Gabriel. And so now he makes pizzas. All right, so that's the sauce, and we have the bread. What other ingredients do you have for, for the pizza? We also have a proof of the pizza. We 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 How long does it take to make a batch of stuff? Uh, one batch of pizza powder and an hour after that. So I'm supposed to start it. And then you start putting it in a piece of belt. Yep. All right. That's good. Uh, what, are, what other ingredients do you have? What other ingredients do you have? That's rich. Let's talk. Let's talk about it, Rich. He's hard to hear, guys. We can't hear very well. What kind of toppings do you have, Rich? Uh, we, like Jeff said earlier, we have toppings, pepperoni, cheese, peppers, banana peppers, olives, uh, mushrooms, ham, uh, pineapple, spinach, uh, we have uh, pizza sauce, we have uh, pizza dough. You come up with it, we make it. Okay. What's your, uh, Jeff, what's the, uh, I guess, what would you say is the uh, most popular topping you have? I'd have to say we make sausage. Sausage? Uh, we make sausage. 
So how long does it take to make a pizza? Uh, from start to finish, 15, 20 minutes. 15 or 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Would you like to see that? Yeah, I'm we'd sure like to sure. see it. I'm sure George would like to see that. I would, absolutely. All right. Okay, just so I let you guys know that Mr. Markovich has been so kind to allow for a special all day long. Uh, if you come into his pizza shop, he will give you two slices of pizza and a large pop for $2. Two slices wow. of pizza and a large pop for $2, as long as you say you saw the video, or MCBDD. Does he deliver oh, wait a minute. He's doing something. Wow, I'm on the way. Does he deliver to Fairline? He's brushing the pizza. I don't know what George. he's brushing with his fingers, but George, don't eat all the pizza. Rusting. Rusting. Don't eat all the pizza, George. Save some for this others. Helps right here. Everybody, this helps right here when you make pizza. You know when you get a pizza that has a big bubble in it? This helps take the the bubble out of it when you when you cook it. You know, you get a pizza has a big bubble, so it gets the air out of the pizza. Knocks all the air out of the pizza. And notice how he's also wearing gloves, which means he's not getting it all dirty. And Jeremy. Now comes the sauce. Now comes the sauce. Watch the sauce. We have a, shake it up a little bit. There you go. And now this is your pizza station. This Where all the toppings are. Yes. Where all okay. the toppings are. We're under here, the toppings are all under there. We get fresh cut cheese, which we have to cut. And right here. Is that mozzarella cheese? That's mozzarella that's cheese. Mozzarella cheese. Okay. A little bit of water. Yeah. And cheese it up. Victor, do you think you like all this? Spread the cheese out all over the pizza. Make it even. That's my pizza, so don't be cheap on that cheese now. That's it. Spread that puppy. Okay. There you go. And then we'll make it, uh, this, we're making this for slices, so we're going to make half peppers and half plain. Okay, half of these are peppers. These are sauteed peppers. You guys are famous for your sauteed peppers. Right? Yep. Yeah. Everyone loves the peppers. Yeah. Some people, well, that, some people don't. Some, 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 do. some, talk about the biggest request. We do have a guy once in a while, a guy called out and he goes, I want six times the amount of peppers on a pizza. So you all basically can't even see the pizza. One, one pepper yeah. on the pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the address. All right, then you take it over here. And you put it in the oven. And we usually ask the people how they like the pizza. They might like, some people might like it crispy, some might like it a little less or regular. So we usually write that on a slip. We have a slip up here that tells us how they would like their pizza. Sausage, pepperoni, onions, everything, names, whatever, and how they would like it. We, so we try to do that. Okay. Jeff, what are those uh, big things on top of your ovens? The trays or whatever they are? Uh, trees, right here? 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure how a guy knew that, but that's impressive. I'm Italian. Part Italian. Anybody, anybody in Italian can know what pizza is, right? All right. So what do we do? We just uh, wait for the we pizzas. Wait, wait for the pizza. All right. So let me ask you a couple of questions, Jeff, if you don't mind. Is that all right? Yep. All right. So um, how long have you how long have you been here at Cornford? Uh coming for like two years. Two years, yeah. Okay. And you're the owner of the business, correct? Yes. Yeah. And what what brought you into the pizza business, I guess? Uh, actually, I don't know. you don't I love to eat. I don't know. <laughs> I, I say that all the time, but uh, you know, I work with George, so we don't like to eat. We know? did eat good. We did eat good. We ate good every day. And I always liked pizza, and I always liked Cornford pizza. And the opportunity came a couple yeah. years ago. All right. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Um, yeah. What's your favorite topic for pizza? Uh, I change a lot. Change a lot. Oh, you yeah. like variety? Yeah. Okay. I'm a I'm a big Briar Hill guy. Okay. So what part of Briar Hill is what? Without the cheese. Without the mozzarella. Without the mozzarella with the mozzarella. Okay. And the, the peppers. peppers. Okay. Rich, what's your favorite topping for a pizza? What I'm saying. That's tough. Um, I'd probably go Briar Hill too. Briar Hill as well? Briar Hill is probably the best. Yeah. A lot Briar of people like sausage. Yeah. Okay. I've heard it. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Okay, Briar Rich, I got a question for you, Rich. How long have you been working for this uh, this particular boss? Uh, going on two years now. And you, you've chosen to do that? <laughs> All right. All right. George, what's your favorite topping for um, I'd have to say that my favorite topping is mushrooms, followed by uh, sausage. Okay. Not bologna? <laughs> no, I don't like bologna on my pizza. I used to eat a lot of bologna. Yeah. I was, I was a little cheap. I was a little cheap in the day. <laughs> Saving money back then. What, um, what is the busiest day of the year for you? I'd probably say Super Bowl. Super Bowl Sunday? Yeah. Okay. Day before yeah, Thanksgiving. You know, last year probably wasn't day before Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, had a lot of, we had a lot of people that come here that live out of town. They remember Cornersburg. Yeah, they, they, they love coming from straight out of town. They're coming to the family on Thanksgiving. And the first thing they say before they get home, they were to Cornersburg yeah. pizza. pizza. What? Oh, good. And we got Halloween coming up, and Halloween's pretty big, too. And it's on a Saturday this year. Can I ask to you know, jump in on Guy's question right there? Do you get a lot before or after football games out here in Boardman? Um, to be honest with you, yes, but this year's a little different with the COVID going on, so I don't know. I, I can't gauge it. Like one Friday, two Fridays ago, we had an unbelievable Friday, and then the next Friday was a little slower. Plus, people aren't out going to games or doing anything right now. Mm hmm. Which. Stay home and eat pizza. Get cornbread. Get cornbread pizza. That's true. <laughs> um, how many pizzas do you make a day? About on an average day? Uh, between uh, sixty to sixty to hundred pizzas. Yeah. yeah. And how many? You have three ovens here. Yeah. How many? How many pizzas can fit in an oven? Uh, four to six. Four to six, yeah. depending on. Okay. And what temperature is the oven at right now? It's hot here. Yeah. So five hundred fifty degrees. Actually, we don't turn the heat on, uh, the air on here, just so the dough don't dry out okay. early in the morning. We make fresh dough. Okay. Just so everybody that's watching knows, it is extremely hot in here, and I am sweating. Yeah. So I just want to share that so, with everybody. Pizza, pizza shops are hot. So, um, yes. Oh, trust me, it was hot in two days. In the summer? Yeah. But it was really, really yeah. hot? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we're going to check the pizza. Sometimes you got to turn it in the oven. Yeah. I'll just show you the outside of the the outside of the crust, yeah. like that. We put it back in. Um, I don't feel better with this. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, do you know how, how long has Cornerbird been around? So you're sure it's 1969. Yeah, 1969. And the original one was in. You know uh, where the original one was, Cornerbird? Yeah. So you know where it got the yeah. name? Okay. There, there, there was also like one located in Cornerbird, too. All right. Um, what are your hours? Um, we're, weekdays were 3 to 9. Okay. Weekends were 11 to 9. Okay. But usually, you know, you're here a little 
early guitars we're here making so oh, okay. yeah um richard mentioned wings are there any other items that you can order here uh yeah we have a lot we have jalapeno poppers we have mushrooms we have onion rings french fries lots of relative steaks and everyone loves them up with our fresh sauce okay. and we have about 15 different kinds of wings flavor wings yeah chicken tender okay. all right um Jeff, can I ask, how many how many people do you employ, and do they have to do everything here, make the pizza, run the cat? What are their what are their tasks that they have to do? Uh, well, me and Rich do a lot of those. We make it down. We keep it consistent and do all the other stuff. We just saw these young kid here come in, answer the phone, deliver, and do a lot. My daughter Jenna does a lot. So they got to know how to run a cash register, count yeah. money. Uh, in between texting, yeah, the young kids, yes. So, so how many would you say you have employed? Uh, eight. Eight people? Yeah. How many now? So they're all good. Uh, got some kids. All from board, a lot of board. Do you um, do you deliver pizzas? Yes. You do deliver pizzas. Okay. Yes. How would you How would you schedule for a delivery? Uh, is it from Grubhub or is it? Or you no, have your own. It's all here. Okay. Uh, 758-4501. That's your phone number. And, okay. we, and we deliver. We also have Uber Eats. We also have Grubhub. And then we also have Slice. Okay. So you can, anything you want, if you don't want to come in and, or talk to someone, you can go on there. On the website. But if not, you can uh, call here and we'll have it delivered. Do you have a website? Yes. You do? Okay. Yes. What is it? Uh, Borman Cornberg. Borman Cornberg .com? Yeah. Or you can Google Borman Cornberg. Or just Google Borman Cornberg. Okay. Very good. Um, you deliver just in Boardman or? or? No, we deliver all over. If it's, if it's, we, we just try to, like weekdays, if we're a little slower, we won't take it, but like on weekends, and we'll we call ahead. It's all ahead. Right. And it's nice on busy days to call ahead and we can get everything made. Okay. You know what I mean? Like on you, like, like we're talking about Halloween, it's nice on good days like that to call ahead while we'll everything ready. And we're early. Okay. But yes, we deliver. We have delivery drivers. That's good. That's good to know. Um, so you sell slices throughout the day? Uh, they can just come we in. We used to, yes, but right now we haven't been with COVID oh, okay. because we didn't have people coming, coming in the store. In yes. but, to, but in the future, you'll sell slices in the store. Yes. Well. Yes. So we do many time. different slices. Yes. Okay. There we go. This is what we do. Good. Yeah. good. We're going to take it out of the pan. Set it right there on the stone. Crisp off the bottom? Yep. Crisp off the bottom. So you, like you said, you, you try to get the bottom crusty when you take off that yeah. pan. Okay. Well, you also leave it in there and let it crust up too. Like I told you, some people like a well done. So, um, and you, you open at, you said you open at 11 or 3? 11, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday. Or Friday, Saturday, 12, Sunday. At 3 o'clock. But take the call ahead. We're usually in here. Early. So, and they, can, and they can also call early, like day ahead of time. We also do, it's not on the menu, we do sheets. Oh, the sheets? Or half sheets. Okay. Yeah, full sheets, half sheets. Half sheets. Half sheets. Half sheets. Yeah, half sheets. Okay. All right. Are there any questions? Does anybody have any questions for Jeff or Rich? I have one guy. Can you hear Go me? Go ahead. I was yeah, wondering, and I, I couldn't get in until later, but I was wondering who taught Jeff how to make the pizza. Oh, where did you learn how to make the pizza? Um, just from eating experience, yeah, I guess. Yeah, from eating experience, making it at home. But, okay. you know, I learned a little bit. Rich taught me all something. He was here before I got okay. here. Okay. And Rich has um, a lot of knowledge about pizza making, I'm, yeah. I'm guessing. And my wife likes to cook, too, yeah. so she, she came in. We did a lot together. So what changes have you made to the uh, to to the menu since you started uh, since you started owning the business? A lot. A lot. Yeah, a lot of different coffee. Okay. So before there were no wings or there were there were a very limited selection what you could get. Yeah, I do remember that. Okay. Any other questions from anybody else? What are the hours today? Like so, a pizza here from everybody. Oh, here comes a pizza, hot and fresh. That's my pizza. What are the hours today since he said he had a special? The hours you are open from three until nine, correct? Tonight? Three till eight.
But there, we're here now. So I mean, if you were to come by after two. So two till eight today. Thank you. If you were to call and order a pizza. So now he's cutting the pizza. How many slices will that be, Jeff? Eight. Eight, eight slices. slices. Right All right. And then what happens after that, Jeff? We'll put it right out here. We'll get this off. And we'll have it here for slices. <coughs> so everybody's welcome to come in and get two slices for a dollar today. Two slices, two slices and a drink for, for two dollars. Yeah. Two slices for a dollar, yeah. two slices and a drink for two dollars. Yes. Yeah. And you said you had a coupon? Oh, we have coupons. They have, lunch, they they have lots of coupons. coupons. The, ad coupon. the address is 234 Borman Canfield Road. It's across from the Borman Plaza. And the phone number again is 330-758-4501. And he has lots of coupons here too. Where are they at? Here we got some coupons. So you can come in and get some coupons. So Cornersburg has been around a long time, right, Jeff? Yes. The, the brand Cornersburg. Yeah. Any other questions? Do they deliver Any? to Akron? Oh, uh, delivery to Akron. Uh, <laughs> I he'll meet he'll meet you at uh, Route 11 and Route That's as far as it'll go. Oh, okay. So you can call in and we'll par bake it, and then we'll wrap it, we'll pull off, and we'll wrap it for you. Then you can take it back to the factory and finish it up. And we have we have things to tell you instructions. What to okay, do. like a take take and bake pizza. Yeah, like <laughs> finish baking it. Yep. Okay. You can have that. Oh, that's good. So you would call ahead for something like that, or it, you would yeah. call ahead so that you, you call could ahead get. And we'll have for you and okay. Then you pour down and that's good. That's good to know. There. Any other questions? Thank you very oh, much. He's sneaking a pizza. He's sneaking a sniff over there. <laughs> pizza. So, no anybody else? No questions. Just want to say that uh, Cornersburg does really have awesome, amazing pizza. We love it. It is it is a good pizza. It's my favorite in the area for sure. <laughs> Thank it, you so uh, much. It's, it's worth it's worth the trip to Boardman to get a corner fresh corner bird pizza. Well, uh, if nobody has any other questions, I just you know wanted to say thanks a lot again to Jeff for letting us be there today. Call in if they say they want two slices of white pizza with banana pepper. Okay. If you wanted to, if you hear that, especially if you had a special request. Call in before you come, and he'll make those for you. Sorry to interrupt you, Shane. Oh, no, you're fine. I was just saying okay, that so yeah, I we you, really appreciate, you know, the Jeff allowing us to come in for the video today. Um, it was really cool to hear from Rich, too, and George and Guy. You guys did great. So thank you to thank everybody. You. Um, I thought this went, like, super, super well today. Thank and I just you. want to uh, pass on that our mm -hmm. next video yeah. will be Monday the 28th. That will be at 1130. And we're going to be interviewing right. members of the community about volunteer opportunities in different organizations. So thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Bye, Thanks guys. guys. See Thanks. you from Cornersburg Pizza and Boardman. See you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.